Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline. If you are new to my channel, I do videos on makeup, beauty, DIY, and a lot of many random stuff that pulls my attention. So today's video is going to be DIY eyelash extensions at home that obviously you can do by yourself, and that too for both top and bottom lashes. So before getting started, I want to warn you guys, I am not a professional lash extension artist. This is not the right way to do extensions. However, it works for me and I like how it turns out. So if you're not sure about this process, please do not try this at home. I will also give you guys reason why I like this. Firstly, it's very inexpensive, near about $15 to $20. While on the other side, you need to spend near about $200 bucks to get the professional extensions done. Uh, I did that few times but it's pretty expensive for me and getting in feels for every two to three weeks it's pretty expensive that's something I cannot afford I know if you are a professional lash extension artist you're going to hate me for this but I'm not forcing anyone to do this at home but this is how it works for me so without talking too much let's get started so I'm going to use the Ardell individual starter kit that comes with a clear lash tight adhesive along with the remover tweezers which works really well we will also need a small scissor and something flat to put the glue on first I'm taking the lash tight adhesive and pouring a little bit in my plastic tray you don't want to take too much at a time cause it's going to dry up pretty soon I'm going to start with the medium cluster first and apply them one by one onto my top lashes in the outer corners. You need to be very careful while doing this because you don't want to stick the lashes onto your skin but on top of your natural lashes. Now I'm doing the same thing on the other eye using the medium length cluster as well. And as you can see, I'm not applying it from one side altogether. I'm trying to move from one eye to the other so the adhesive gets time to set and dry up at least a little bit and doesn't move from its place. And also I'm trying to maintain some distance as I'm going to apply the long and short cluster in between the medium ones. Okay, so now I'm going to take the long and the short cluster and apply them in between. Uh, basically, the short ones in the inner corner and the long ones in the outer corners. So this is how it looks right now. You can see the clear adhesive which seems feasible, which is something bothers me a little bit. But of course, far better than spending a lot of money for it. Um, I would suggest to use the professional black adhesive, which I'm going to link down below for you guys in the description box. Another thing, you don't want to use too much adhesive as it will make it look more visible when it dries up. So better use just a little bit to make the cluster stick well onto your natural ones. Also don't forget to separate the lashes with the tweezers in between this process to make sure they are not sticking over one another but over your natural lashes. Alright so this is how it looks like for now. I'm done for the top lashes so now we'll move on to the bottom ones. For the bottom lashes, I'm taking regular strip lashes and cutting out according to my desired length. You don't want to cut too long or it will look too dramatic which nobody wants. And also do not take the 3D mink for lashes cause you will need to stick every single lashes onto your natural ones one by one. So trust me, it will be way too messy so better don't. Now I'm doing the same thing but this time the job is more intense because you need to stick one lashes at a time just the way I'm doing right now. So at first apply the individual lashes maintaining some distance because you don't want to apply onto every single lashes or else it might look too fuller for the bottom lashes. First go with some distance and then you can keep applying more in between and that way you can keep going until you think it's enough. Same with the top ones, you can apply less cluster to make it look more natural and more cluster to make it look more fuller. 
um, and here I did the top lashes the night before doing the bottom ones because I wanted the adhesive to dry completely because you're doing it of your own and you need to see when you're doing yourself and if the adhesive is not dry it may stick on together when you blink so you don't want that to happen and lastly do not forget to give them a good gentle brush with a spoolie to make sure they are not sticking over one another and repeat this process at least twice a day so this is the final result this is how you can do your eyelash extensions at home by yourself for both top and bottom lashes how I did my extensions at home. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So let's get into the aftercare routine. Well, number one, avoid water for at least 24 hours. Let the glue completely set into your natural lashes. Um, number two, do not rub your eyes while washing your face. Um, try to use Q-tip to remove your eye makeup close to the lash line. Number three, do not sleep on your face. By this I mean do not sleep facing your pillow. Uh, try to sleep on one side to make sure you don't pull any of your natural lashes while sleeping. Number four, no eyeliner or mascara while you've got your extensions on because if you do, it may be pretty hard to remove them and you may rip off your natural lashes while trying this. So this is where I'm going to end my video today. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and subscribe to my channel if you are not. Um, also don't forget to hit that bell so that you guys know every time I upload a new video. I really love you, all my babies. You guys are the reason why I'm here. I really hope you guys have a great start to the new year 2017 and I'll see you guys with a new video probably next year. Till then take care. Bye!